Yo, yo, so the agency is one of the best properties to buy in GTA Online. I mean, you get to partner up with Franklin and Dr. Dre, enough said. Anyway, in this video, we're gonna be going over how to make the most money possible with it in GTA Online. First things first, let's go over which location to buy an agency in. Now, honestly, guys, all four agency locations aren't too far from one another, so I don't really think it matters which one you get, to be honest. You can buy the cheapest one for around $2 million in Little Soul, and then the most expensive one up in Howick for $2.8 million. Now, me personally, I just went for the Little Soul location, not because it's the cheapest, but because it's like right down the street from my CEO office, so yeah. Now, what upgrades should you purchase? First of all, unless you've got hella money to blow, don't even waste your time with the art, wallpaper, and highlight upgrades. These are legit just cosmetic upgrades and aren't gonna help you out other than making your agency look way better. What you are gonna wanna get though is an armory. Now, unlike armories from other properties, this is currently the only one that lets you buy a body armor here, which is huge. Definitely comes in clutch right before grinding the money methods that we'll be going over later on in the video. So if you're gonna buy any armory in the game, make sure that you prioritize getting this one first. Next up is the accommodation upgrade. Just like with every other property, this allows you to set your agency as a spawn point for when you load in. I'm going to highly recommend buying it for this property as it's actually my go-to spawn point majority of the time. Reason being is that I can spawn in, grab some snacks from outside of the bedroom, and then fill up on body armor over in my armory. This is why I was hyping up the armory so much before because that paired with the accommodation upgrade is god tier. So this is definitely a must-have upgrade for your agency. Lastly, we've got the vehicle workshop. Now the reason why you're going to definitely want to buy this is because it allows you to upgrade on money tech vehicles. And in case you don't know what a money tech vehicles are, they're essentially vehicles that you add some really cool upgrades to. You can throw on a missile lock on jammer, which prevents anyone locking onto your vehicle. And you can also throw on armor plating to your vehicle, which is going to help protect you from griefers and cops just trying to ruin your day in Los Santos. To sum it up, these vehicles are going to be your best friend in a public lobby, especially when there's a whole bunch of griefers in it. But yeah, these three upgrades right here are definitely worth getting once you have enough saved up. If you only have enough for the cheapest agency at first, that's totally fine, but I'd highly recommend coming back and investing in these once you have enough. But all right, let's go ahead and get started with why you clicked on this video in the first place. The first way you can make money with the agency is through security contracts. In order to start these up, you're going to want to come over to your office and take a seat at your desk. Then just log into your computer and come on over to where it says security contracts right here. You're going to see three different security contracts right here and you want to just pick the one that's going to pay you the most. Speaking of the payout, these are going to pay you anywhere from $31,000 up to $70,000 based on its level. But I'm not really going to go over those levels because honestly, they don't really make that much of a difference to me other than the price. There's supposed to be like a difference in difficulty between the three levels, but honestly, I don't really pick up on it. I just pay attention to which one pays out the most. That's really all that matters. Now, each one is pretty easy and shouldn't take you more than like five to seven minutes to beat. The easiest one has got to be recover valuables though, as you literally just break into a club or bar and steal some valuables from a safe. You have to take out some enemies, of course, and also have to find a yellow sticky note with the code to the safe on it. But this one is super quick to do, especially once you get used to where the sticky notes spawn. This paired up with an oppressor mark two literally takes me like four minutes to beat. It's that easy. And another easy security contract is vehicle recovery as you literally just pull up to an auto shop and take out the dudes inside. Once they're taken out, you just need to look around the auto shop for the keys to the vehicle and just take it back to your agency. Now, while the rest of the security contracts are pretty easy, like I said, there is one that I recommend not doing, and that's going to be asset protection. It's not that this one isn't easy to complete. It's just that it takes too long compared to the other ones. Just like the name says, you got to pretty much protect 10 assets from a bunch of enemies that are going to spawn in and try to destroy them. While it is pretty easy, like I keep saying, you got to protect the assets for 10 minutes and the other security contracts can be beaten in less than that. So me personally, I would avoid this one. Anyway, once you're done completing a security contract, there's a five minute cooldown before you can start another one. So keep that in mind. Now, since we're talking about security contracts, let's go over the wall safe in your office. This right here is a great way to make some passive income in GTA Online, especially while you're out grinding the other money methods in this video. From this safe, you can make up to $20,000 every in-game day, and it maxes out at $250,000. And in case you don't know, an in-game day is roughly about 48 minutes in real life time, so this will add up pretty quickly if you're the type to grind a lot. But before you can make that much from the safe, you're going to need to put in some work. For every five security contracts that you complete, $500 is going to be added to the amount that your safe makes every in-game day. And if you want to make the max amount of money from it, which is $20,000 every in-game day, you're going to need to complete 201 security security contracts. Yeah, I know, that's a lot. But once you do get those security contracts done, that safe is gonna continuously be filled with $250,000 for doing absolutely nothing. So if you're someone like me who plays a whole lot of GTA Online, I'd say this is worth grinding out. Plus I made like $10 million grinding them out, so come on, that's hella money right there. The third way to make money with the agency is through payphone hits. If you're new to GTA Online, there's a chance you've heard people talking about how good these are. And that's for a damn good reason, because you can make $85,000 in just about five minutes from doing these. In order to start one up, you're gonna wanna call up Franklin on your phone and request a payphone hit. Shortly after, 
you're going to see a blue payphone icon pop up on your map. Quick note that sometimes while you're going around the map, you might just see one pop up near you, so that's another way to do them. Anyway, just head over to the payphone that's ringing and press right on your D-pad to start it up. Now, obviously by the term payphone hit, Franklin's going to have you take someone out, but you're only going to get like 15k for simply just killing them. If you hold right on your D-pad though, you're going to see the assassination bonus. As long as you follow whatever it tells you to do, you're going to make an additional $70,000 added on top of that. Now, the assassination bonus varies. Like sometimes it'll tell you to take out the target by picking them up in a taxi and throwing it into the ocean. Sometimes it'll have you pick up a truck cab and ram it into the target's car. Or sometimes there'll be multiple targets and you'll have to take each one out with the headshot. The point is that each assassination bonus is going to be a random ass task. But each one is pretty easy to follow and for completing it, you're looking at the easiest $85,000 made in right around 5 minutes. And keep in mind that after completing a payphone hit, there's going to be a 20 minute cooldown before you can start up another one. Now, for the last money method you can do with the agency, we're going over the Dr. Dre contract. This right here is one of the best money methods within the entirety of GTA Online. In order to start these up, you're going to want to come over to your office once again, log into your computer, and instead of going to security contracts this time, you're going to want to click on VIP contract. Now, these two missions right here only need to be done the first time you complete the Dr. Dre contract. The first one being at the golf club where you meet Dr. Dre and got to take out some dudes on golf carts, and then this other one where you got to break into the FIB building and find out who took Dr. Dre's phone. But after completing the contract for the first time, you don't need to do these, so just focus on these three leaks right here. Now, for each leak, there's going to be two setup missions and then a finale. Overall, they're pretty straightforward. Just make sure you're stocked up on body armor and snacks, especially if you're not exactly the best at GTA yet. Once you complete all the leaks, there's going to be two more missions you'll have to do before you finish off the Dr. Dre contract. And you can start those up in the yellow circle right outside of Franklin's office inside of the agency. But overall, this whole thing shouldn't take you more than about an hour and a half to complete. And once you do complete it, you're looking at $1 million made from it. And you can start it up all over again after one in-game day. While the Dr. Dre contract is definitely one of the best ways to make money in the game, the number one spot has got to go to the Kyle Perigo heist. On average, you can make around $1.5 million from it in just under an hour. If that sounds interesting, then you'll definitely want to click on the video on screen right now.